Hi. The last time I talked about Alexei Karparov, the Russian admiral who averted a nuclear war by refusing to go along with the other two admirals aboard the submarine and insert his key in the control panel that would have launched nuclear warheads at New York City and Washington, D.C. Well, when he got home, he was looked upon as a chicken, a coward by his own countrymen. Well, I've got something to say to all you chest-beating Russians who thought that. Take a good look at the photos of your grandchildren and thank your Russian admiral for being able to take them. And you grandchildren who are probably fully grown by now, take a good look at the photos of your children and thank Alexei Koparov for being able to take them. Because if he hadn't shown the restraint of an adult, there wouldn't be any cameras to take them with, nor any children to take them of. Maybe you would have preferred to have our generals commanding your troops. Our generals were all ready for a nuclear war. As one of them said, even if there were only two of us left and one of them, we still won the war. Now, a man like that you can't reason with because he's beyond the reach of logic. He certainly doesn't belong in any position where he can control the fates of hundreds of millions of people. He belongs in a mental asylum on medication. Isn't it ironic that the man who saved America from extinction was a Russian communist, one of those red menaces whom we are so fond of saying are trying to bury us? Uh, while our patriotic flag-saluting generals were all ready to reduce our beautiful country to a pile of radioactive waste for the sake of a chalk mark on a scoreboard? Isn't that funny?